morning everyone welcome back to the channel 717 on a Monday morning ah didn't sleep well last night we've got a bit of a storm going on over here at the minute and it's been blowing an absolute gale all night long so kids were up and down because they didn't like the noises outside of stuff being blown around and things like that so I feel like Sunday was a blur last last night's sleep was <laughs> non-existent and we're back in with a really busy week um, did the 3k giveaway we got our three winners obviously the word that I've messaged you get that down in the comments under your name on the channel on the 3k giveaway video so I can see um, that you are who you are and we've not just got somebody making up bogus email addresses I know we've had one done already I think it was Zach um, I see that uh, Cycle Revive has replied but I just want him to comment just so we've got the right right email um, so Craig write your little word that I've emailed you back just in the comment section on Sunday's video just so I can make sure it's you but um, so we start off today a very windy day as you can hear outside it's getting brighter in the mornings though we're not dark anymore so summer's coming spring's coming we are at 3017 soldiers already morning ladies morning boys morning regulars morning everyone else um, starting off today with a EV electric we've got an MV 200 coming in uh, it's having a 950 Evo Pioneer uh, fascia kit and all the other bits and bobs to go with it I'm not sure if we're doing a camera or not I can't remember we might be might be doing a reversing camera um, let's just slow it down to 25 so she doesn't pop off uh, and then we got some stuff in this afternoon uh, I've already started cutting up um, the caddy door cards we do need to go out at some point and get some supplies so we need some uh, I need some fiberglass I need some dowel and it's some matting, I've got to start that, get that working because I've only got a couple of weeks on that. So I need to get get my move on, get a wiggle on that. Might be some late nights coming, hopefully not too many late nights. But other than that, everything is good. Um, I've been shopping around at the weekend for RH7s again. And the whole purpose of doing what I'm doing is ever since I saw the film, I wanted Hans RX-7. I want the VL side kit. I know a lot of people don't like it. I love it, I think it's gorgeous. Um, and it's um, it, it's just the, the right amount of body kit, the right amount of flavor, the right amount of Japanese in, influence. And I just really like the shape of it. Now, the idea of buying an RX-7 to modify, cut the arches on it, do all the bits and bobs that we need to do, was kind of like one thing. Um, and then obviously you've got to purchase the kit, have it installed, have it painted, do whatever. It's going to be a big project and it's going to be a lot of money. And I know I rave on about not spending out on a huge amount for an RX-7. 30 mile an hour. That's because I have to do so much to it to get it right. Um, but there may be something in the pipeline. I found one actually in Japan for sale already built. Um, it's a lot more money, a lot more money, but obviously it's everything I want. So I'm toying with the idea on actually blowing a load of money and just buying the bill side one that's over there. See how we go. But I do need to get off to work, get down, get some brekkie, get another coffee, try and stay awake today. Uh, and I will come back to you in a bit. Hope you're good, hope you're well. Loving the content. And I will see you soon. Morning everyone. Monday morning, both of us are lacking motivation. <laughs> but we've got so much work to do. Um, so Dan is gonna start with a caddy, taking off the second door trim, removing all the electrics from it. Uh, then I am, I've got this one over here. So we've already chopped out like the main grill, the support. I've basically got to wash this door because it's got sheen all over it and we can't stick anything to it. And I've got to basically make a template of it for my speaker pod which is going to go in here and then we obviously need to glass in that so i need to start by cleaning this door so i can get something to stick to it to give me this this shape so i've got a working panel so that's first we'll come back to you in a bit we've got more stuff coming in 
We're just waiting on that. Dan's getting on. <laughs> In a bit, everyone. Alright then everyone, so we're working on our first door card. I'm going to keep talking non-stop because the radio is playing. So we've got our outline made of where we're going to protect the door card. Obviously we don't want anything sticking to the door card. So I'm now going to lay this area in plastic. We'll make this stick down as well with tape. Then I can start laying some fiberglass matting into this area here to make my build the bottom, the support. And then we can look at the top section which is going to hold the speakers and then join the two together. I'll see you in a bit. In the meantime, whilst Alex is cracking on with door cards, the NV200 is here. So we're going to get started on that one. I've got a Evo 64, I think, to put in this one. So I've already started stripping the dashboard apart. So you can see I've obviously got the radio out there. So it's got a double din type unit in there with a single din chassis. Uh, face is already off. Customer's got his own dash camera that he's obviously put in himself. It was just tucked in the weather strip and then ran across underneath the sun visor. I'm going to do him a favour and I'm going to pop the cable a little bit tidier when I when I get that all in because I'm already there as it is anyway. I may as well make it look pretty while I'm there. Um, other than that, we will give you a little bit of a shout back a little bit later on. So, uh, yeah, see you soon. Still not quite clued up on all the part numbers of all the radios, but this is actually what we're fitting. We're fitting an Evo 950, so not a, not a 64. I think that's what I said earlier. But uh, get this unpacked, get all the bits put together, build it all up, build the fascia up, put it all in, see you soon. Morning, dude. Um, so we got our first few layers of mat down. So we taped up the door card where we want our shapes to go, and then we basically meant an imprint of the outer shell of the door card. And this will be the bit that fixes to the door card, and then we'll create our build on top of this. So about three layers, all the matting in. So that's the rough shape of where our build is going to be. Um, and then when this is cured, we can basically pop it off, and it'll be like a yeah like a carbon copy of the door card shape and then we build our front piece which is going to hold the speakers off of this and then work outwards from the base to the to the top with more resin more fiberglass and that's it so far so there's first step done we'll just let this cure 
and I'll come back to you in a bit. See you soon. Hi, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> so Alex is still fiberglass in. Let it get a bit tacky and he's started back up again. So just waiting on it curing off now. Sweet. So 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 say it's got a 20 minute cure time. All right. I don't, I don't know whether I believe that, but. Wow. That's still quite soft. <coughs> Fucking hell. What's that? Fumes, man. Yeah, boy! <laughs> this guy uh, sniffing it up like. Kill him like Mr. Z in the corner here. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> right, NV200 is all done. So, Pioneer Screen Evo 95, uh, 950 is all in. Uh, dab in the corner, top left. Microphone at the top there. Um, I've cleaned and tidied up his dash camera wiring and ran it properly. Uh, USB's in the glove box. It should be just there. This one here. Uh, and then, if I turn him on, we should get him come to life. Uh, the other things we've done is obviously kept the steering wheel controls as well. So. As soon as he comes to life, we should get. Look at that. Lovely. So the guy's on his way to come and collect this one, so we'll get this one pulled out and uh, move on with doing some more on the caddy. I think we've got another one for this afternoon, haven't we? Uh, I have no idea, mate. I don't know my head from my arsehole at the minute. Well, there you go then. Well, that's, Just... my first, that's my first floating screen fit, that is. is it? Yeah, not done one of those yet. <laughs> Oi! I did alright at that one. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's sweet. So, quite happy with that. But um, it's nearly lunchtime, I think. About half hour. Is it really? Yeah, it's half eleven, mate. Oh, this stuff wants to worry up and dry. You've lost all concept of time, mate, where you've been huffing this stuff all day. What do you mean? <laughs> Why have you got five heads? <laughs> so, yeah, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. See you soon. Yeah. Right then guys, we're cracking on with number two. Uh, Dan stripped down the door for me. We've got our sound treatment in. <laughs> two layers of dynamite on the inside skin and the outside skin. Um, got a speaker out, um, head units out, glove boxes out, ready for the cabling and stuff to go in. We've got, I wish I had the uh, Steve Mead sun flash if I'm honest, because this stuff is taking an absolute age to harden, but it is, as you can see, now staying as one piece. So this will be the base once this is hardened off. It will keep the form of the car for the door card and then we can make our template onto the top. So that's part one of our sticky door. Um, <coughs> and I am just putting down some double sided to lay in the same plastic sheeting and then I can start uh, cutting in some more fiberglass sheet some matte and we'll probably make the mix on the hardener a bit more on this one just so we can get a quicker a quicker dry see you in a bit
Right then, so I've had a crack at some fiberglassing as well now. So this one's pretty much ready to go. We just need to let it cure now. This one's pretty much dry. It's getting a bit hard now. So still a touch tacky, but getting there. All the dynamite's all done though. So this is just now a case of wait till the door cards are put back together or made. And then uh, we can start putting some putting some bits in. But um, yeah, glove box is out as well, ready for the key. 200.4? Key 200.4, yeah. 200.4, not a 501. So we'll get that all sorted and then we'll give you a shout back a little bit later on. See you soon. And then everyone. Whew. Monday done. We are having um, lots of sleepovers. Good one, GoPro. So uh, yeah, we've got work in for tomorrow. Already delivered. Ready for our uh, build, sub, speakers, um, head unit, camera, all sorts of stuff going on with that. We've got these two things all laid up. So they have 24 hours basically, well not 24 hours, but a good 12 hours to kind of harden off. Um, yeah, Steve Mead sells a thing called Sun Flash, which sucks, it, it, you don't need a hardener, it basically just cures off in sunlight. And I wish we had some of that over here, because even though I've added loads of this hardener, it's taken an absolute age to dry. So we'll come back to it in the morning and see what's what. As, as, yeah, that's merrily dribbling fluid all over the table. Good. Um, but yeah, this is tomorrow, so we've got reversing camera to do on it, screen on top of the dash, Pioneer radio, speaker upgrade in the front, tweeters and mid-range, kick a sub in the back, and yeah, get it, get it ready for a big camping trip. So we've got a busy day tomorrow too, and obviously Jake's car to continue with. But other than that, guys, don't think I need to fill you in on anything else. Um, well done to the winners at the weekend on the giveaway. I shall get your messages written and we'll get that stuff off to you, ready to go. But other than that, fellas, I love you and leave you. See you in a bit. Dan? Yeah! Crackhead? Ah. <laughs> that was very, that was very tame for you. Whee!